Yo, there are last one here. Welcome to the new Synthesize Sunday episode. And today I want to show you how I made that beat that was heavily inspired by Zombo's new EP that sounds like this. Like always, you can download this project from my Patreon below. And if you want to dig deeper into dubstep, drum bass, or any other production secrets, check my academy for awesome soft finish courses. But right now, let's jump into it. Yo, so here is this beat once again. This is the drums. Pretty straightforward, the basses. As you can see, I'm not using a separate sub track and the background atmosphere. Also on the master, you can see I'm using only one limiter and it is really loud because it is at around minus four LUFS, so it is really loud without any heavy process on the master. And this is because the mix itself is really strong and clean. And to achieve that, you need to design very loud sounds, obviously, and very clean sounds with heavy drums, etc. And let's synthesize is the best place to learn that. If you are into dubstep, I just released a subtronic style start to finish master class on Let's Synthesize Academy that sounds like this. Or this. The link for it is in the description. Okay, so as you can see, the drums is really straightforward. But there is one thing we need to mention, is the hi-hat. So we have the kick, the clap, and to have a very nice top end, a very clean top end. What I like to do is clean everything in the mid-high frequencies and use really sharp hi-hats. So this is why I designed this sound. It's almost like a glass or something. And I layer it up with this ride. And again, this very sharp hi-hat sound. And originally it sounded like this. It's cool, but I want to keep the mid-high frequencies for the basses and the very tops for the hi-hats. So I would say the operator hi-hat plays a really important role because without that... I mean, it's cool, but it doesn't have that very sharp ear bleeding kind of and also very clean top sound. Okay, so in the background atmosphere, I use this vocal kind of thing. The flange filter gives that vocally kind of tone to it. So that is a trick here and the laser. You just need to use a saw wave with unison and this pitch uh, envelope on it like woo, 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 and goes up all the time. Okay, so let's jump to the basses because these are the heaviest things here. So the main bass is the crazy bass. This is how it sounds. So to achieve that, I use this FM matrix where we are using operator A, B and C and we FM modulate all the three operators with operator D. So the first one is a simple sine wave with extra harmonics. The second one is almost like a filtered saw wave and I added a little noise to it and I FM modulated all these with a simple sign on course 7. And the FM modulator, I mean operator B, is very important because this is what creates that very nice mid energy. Let's see without that. It is already very heavy but if I add it back and also you can play with it. but I love it at course 7 and we are distorting it with the filter I used the hard shaper and also had to notch the mid frequencies a little at around 200 Hz so if I move the frequency as you can hear it is very important to treat the frequencies that would just mess up if we root it into heavy distortion and this time with the amp so the amp again plays a very important role because you know if you have a very high energy frequency content, for example here the 200 frequency hertz, the distortion will react a lot differently. So this is why I had to tweak those frequencies a little to achieve a nice and warm sound. Let's see once again. So 
so I had to cut back the 200 hertz area to get the distortion create those nice harmonics in a very pleasant way. Okay, after that I cre I added an OTT. Ouch! And of course I had to apply very heavy EQing, especially on the mid-low frequencies and on the mid-highs I also chopped off the very very highs without the EQ. This is a too much boominess, especially in the mid-low frequencies and a little like mud at around 6k. And the Serum FX here is only to add a very tiny little width to it. It's just very very tiny. Now here comes the funny part. So I took this bass sound and I modulated it a little and called Flip. So this is the sound and it sounds so cool at the end of this groove. Fills up the mid frequencies very heavily. So what I did is I kept this FM metrics, but I cranked up the main oscillators, of course not this, the noise, and I added even more FM to it. But this time I used the bandpass filter with the same distortion. I added a filter emulation with some extra filter drive. So without the filter. And here comes the amp again. And the most important effect here is the grain delay. So as you can see, I killed every delay and I just kept one millisecond. The drive is on full, so no dry signal coming out from the grain delay. And I cranked up the pitch by seven semitones. So without that, it's cool, cool, but with extra seven semitones, it has a lot of different sound. Maybe we could get a similar result if we sample this whole sound, but with the grain delay, it's just a lot easier and also plays some very nice melodic harmony kind of feel to it. So with the grain delay you can create a very interesting result and I haven't even started playing with the spray and other stuff. So I added an OTT, another extra EQing, some really heavy EQing. And Serum FX again to add a little width and then reverb to it. I also had to add these bells. And these are again very simple stuff. The main part here is a noise oscillator with the square. So this is basically just a synth sound with square waveform. Oscillator B is modulated by that. And oscillator A is modulated by os oscillator B. Also with a high pass filter and some effects here and there. So not a big deal. But to achieve that very nice metallic belly kind of sound, you need to use very, very heavy FMX. So I'm not a big fan of using Serum for that, but this time this preset was here, so I used it up. My other favorite thing are these uh, chord chops. So this is how they sound all together. You cannot hear out what is happening, especially because it has three layers. So it's not just a soul wave or a soul stack chord or something, but it's like a very weird kind of thing. And Zombo used this a lot, by the way. So the first thing is I use this flip, you know, the original crazy bass, like modulate a little, but I dropped it down by one octave. So this is the first layer. I added these chords and I added this bass shot. So the chords are heavily based on vocal samples. So I dropped this vocal sample here and I used some weird waveforms. Without them, they add some little noise, some extra high returns kind of distortion sounding effect to it and some minimum effects. But the final result is so cool. It's not just a soft stack, but it's, it's, it's very different and I love it. And the bass shot. It's a weird thing, like heavily distorted band past waveforms. And as you can see, again, some extra distortion, extra band pass. A band reject filter to focus on the, on the mid frequencies heavily. So it stopped working as a bass sound basically, but more like um, a filtered noise or something. At least this is what this reminds me. As a phaser flanger to get the timber. And I have this growly thing, as I named it. And I had to use a separate sub track or a sub instrument in the rack. Because without that, the whole thing would sound weird in the mix. Anyway, so this is again, not a very complicated sound. I have this spectral whatever waveform. 
the regular setup. So we have oscillator A and it is FM, a, FM modulated by oscillator B and the modulator is one octave higher. Now the distortion comp filter <laughs> makes it sounding a lot better. Now some distortion and the bandpass filter that is important. Otherwise it's just a noise. And again a phaser, some filtering to get the timber and that's all. Now what is even more important is the vocoder because without the vocoder it sounds almost like a distorted noise but with 20 bandpass filter set up and plays after each other because this is how vocoders work the whole sound gets a lot cleaner. So this is the whole groove and I love it so much. And I especially love how it sounds because you know it's loud and clean and powerful and as you can see on the drums group I have only just saturator but the individual sounds are processed differently so with some EQing and basically that's all. This EQ8 is not even necessary. On the basses I have this very slight EQing, a sidechain effect and on the background that must some again very very simple stuff and only a limiter on the master. Okay so if you want to grab this project check my Patreon and check my academy for awesome dubstep start to finish courses like Subtronics, Virtual Riot, Heavy Dubstep, anything really but see you guys next time. Peace!